Um, I'm not sure if these two played yesterday because I know that I Zero to None and PK Chris knocked um, these guys out of winners. Mm, that's possible. Um, so they got the run back, but I believe that Vinny and Jewel ended up on winner's side grounds. So yes. I don't think these teams met each other yesterday. So it was a fresh matchup. Um, and I think this is definitely somewhere where Sone excels because Sone, his Icon doubles is genuinely phenomenal. He's able to get all these great conversions, especially off of down air. And on a stage like PS2, you're going to see him landing on top of the platform with down air a lot yep. because um, that's just going to hit your opponent below you and you're going to be able to get a free punish and that's like 40% right there. Yeah, um, you either get the spike or you get the weird, like, almost 75-degree hitbox that yep. your partner can follow off of perfectly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see a lot of ping-pongs from meaty fairs coming from Sun, and it's a lot better for Ike now that he doesn't have back hit fair uh, sending backwards. Consistently sends in front of him, so he's always going to be able to get those ping-pongs in good slots. Jewel losing a really early stock. Right there. now you see Vanya trying to get a Hydro Pump off on Sun, but Sun opting for the high recovery going right above it. So I think... This is another part where Son does super, super well as Ike. He is able to just recognize how his opponent is going to edge guard him here, what they're going to commit to, and he's able to pick like the perfect option mm -hmm. every time, you know? If you ever watch Demon Slayer, it's like he picks like the thread of opportunity each yeah. time. Um, and we also see um, just, I think something super scary about a team like Ike Wolf is that both the swings are so, both sets of swings are so strong. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be holding block a lot and both of their grabs set up so well in teams. Wolf yes. F throw, perfect angle. Wolf uh, down throw. Wolf down throw, well. perfect angle. Uh, Ike back throw, forward throw, super I, nice. Yep. Like almost every throw lets them set up super hard in doubles. Um, and it has like, a, I don't think it necessarily has grab by but it does have a big meaty hitbox in front of it, making it very difficult for the partner to punish them for it. Yep. Um, great neutral air into back here, almost taking off the stock for Venia, but he's able to DI it and get back to stage. Jules trying to keep Venia, uh, you know, trying to help Venia get back to stage, make sure that uh, nobody's applying pressure and Sone taking off the stock with F tilt. Um, All right, we're seeing good corner pressure coming from Stock well, Taker great here. Great on the neutral, uh, on the neutral attack coming from Venio, landing an F smash, and Greninja's F smash is so particularly menacing. It just does so much knockback. Um, and I really, really like the fact that Venio keeps opting for these high recovery instead of going on ledge because Greninja doesn't necessarily have the best out of ledge options. And if Greninja gets trumped, it can be very, very bad very quickly. And Jewel has lost. All the stocks. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, team hits there from blue team, I feel. And that last one was just the most unfortunate for well, sure. Great show can coming from Venia. Um, and that's definitely not a risk you want to be taking, no matter how well you're able to mix up the recovery. A fully charged neutral be coming from Ike will definitely kill you at yeah. like 40%. You'll get blown up. It's good for Greninja to have like a nice, just quick forward facing projectile, yep. just laser esque. Get him off me real quick, you know, as long as he's not charging that move because it becomes three pillars at max charge. So very, very, very hard to uh, just get around from the side, which yep. is was the answer originally, mm -hmm. you know? Um, phenomenal synergy. I think this game coming from Stock and Stone, I think uh, going into the next one, Jewel shouldn't be committing as much. Yes, I agree. Um, to some things. I think um, they just have to be a little bit more patient in the corner because Stock Taker is getting a lot of very free grabs. Yep. And I've noticed he's strictly looking for corner pressure here. There was a point where he got a forward throw on Venia um, on the left side of the map. Could have maxed that and killed him, but instead just went to the other side, immediately went for a tomahawk grab on Jewel. And stuff like that is super scary because when you have someone bouncing all over the map like that, you're not sure if they're going to be looking yep. for team combos, if they're going to be looking for the stray hits. Um, and right now you just see like Jill going with a whole lot more projectile play, opening up with the arc fires and, and his charges of neutral B. Um. Um. Very nice snare coming out from Stock Taker there, just getting nice anti airs on Fenio. And I really love the way that Stock Taker is falling with his down B because that's just sort of calling out any shurikens from Venia, that's calling out any projectiles from Jewel. And if he does land a hit of his shine, that can confirm into like a forwarder, I believe. Yep, absolutely can. And you can also jump cancel shine if it actually reflects a projectile. Mm. So he gets a lot of pressure with the movement in doubles. Um, just because if Venia throws a stray shuriken and, you know, Ike is on the floor holding that pressure. Yep. He can just jump right out, start swinging at the teammate. 
Uh, we're going to see him cover the double Jewel. jump in. You know, every now and then I just look at the screen. Jewel has, I, I'm very lost sometimes as to how Jewel lost the stock. But like Stone is just doing such a great job of cleaning up the stocks and Stock Taker really like setting Stone up to do that. Yeah, honestly, um, Stone's routes have been really, really well thought out. And something that uh, Jared, a Stock Taker, has really been doing a lot is just letting him take his route as far as he can take it and only comboing off of that. Uh, yeah. And just making sure he pressures the other person otherwise. You you know, a little bit unconventional. Like instead of like you see someone someone coming to like help Stock Taker out center stage, it's more like Stock Taker is letting someone get the edge guard off because he's able to get so much off of it. Mm -hmm. And Stock is like, all right, I'll handle the other person. I'll keep them off of you as long as possible. And then you come help me out. Exactly. And Ike scares the low recovery so much that with Wolf, you could just look for that double jump yep. back air and kill them at 80. You know. Yeah. Especially on a stage like Town, which is a questionable counter pick, I'm not going to lie. Well, especially if Wolf. Wolf can just dance around the platforms a whole bunch. Uh, um, Ike back air, Wolf back air, Wolf nair. Ike is able to get so many extensions off on the stage. And, you know, granted, you could say Ninja too, but Ninja can sometimes kill off the top, and that a, a stage like Town might not be optimal for killing off the top. Mm -hmm. I think a problem with Ninja's routes is that he's got a lot of multi-hits that are honestly pretty meaty on hit, a lot of hit lag. So you can just kind of watch your partner for a bit, yep. make sure Greninja finishes that hit, and then take your damage. And if your partner comes out of hit stun faster, Greninja could get comboed off the map. So really don't see Venia committing to too many up air um, ladders. And I feel like that's a lot of damage that they're missing. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> um, Good stuff, taking well, that stock from Jewel. And right now, this is so menacing. I just don't understand how Venia can get off off of ledge against this. You know, Sona is covering the distance. Sona is covering the jump ins, and uh, Stock Taker is able to effectively cover everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, Venia, you see, struggling to land, but is able to do it. Sona hitting his teammate in the process with his nail, but the hitbox extension yep. also subsequently hitting Venia. Something I'm noticing from Sona and Stock Taker is they switch who's in front, mm -hmm. uh, especially at the ledge. This has to mean God. Man. That was such <laughs> solid play. Oh, and now we have an ad break uh, coming up.